Hello everybody, this is JT Productions and welcome back to another 2023 preview and prediction video. Today, I'll be doing the Virginia Cavaliers. Virginia has been mm, pretty uh, terrible over the past few years, going 3-7 and seven last year, uh, not playing their last two games because of a shooting that happened in Virginia. Um, and I hope those families that were involved are doing okay at this point, but Let's not dwell on that, and let's just let's just talk about what happened during the season. Well, you got three wins. Your best win was against Georgia Tech. You had losses against Illinois, Syracuse, Duke, Louisville, Miami, North Carolina, and Pitt. Now, Tony Elliott, it was his first year as a head coach and head coach of Virginia. So, can he improve over last year? So, let's... Uh, let's look at the roster to find out. Well, you bring in a senior transfer corner quarterback, Tony Musket, coming in from Monmouth to maybe be your starting quarterback after uh, Brandon Armstrong left to be the quarterback of Pitt or NC State. You also have freshman Anthony Corlandrea coming in as well to fight for that starting job. Kobe Pace, senior transfer running back from Clemson, comes in. You also have per Paris Jones coming in. Earths already there. Wide receivers Malachi Fields, Derek Starling, or er, Demick Starling, and Malik Washington, who came in from Northwestern, will be the additions at wide receiver. Grant Mishk and Second Wood are your tight ends. The offensive line you added a couple of guys from the transfer portal. Ugona, Nana, uh, uh, from Houston. Uh, Jimmy. Chris coming in from Penn State. And Brian Stevens coming in from... Brian Stevens coming in from Dayton. So, <clears throat> some good additions to the offensive line. And besides that, you have a pretty young offensive line that's projected to start. So we'll see how they fare this year. Uh, not sure how they, um, if it will fare that well. But Tony Elliott, he was the offensive coordinator for Clemson, I'm sure you all know, for a while. So we'll see if he can't use this offense to its advantage. On the defensive side, you have some seniors and graduate transfers on the defensive line and linebackers. You have a graduate transfer, Malcolm Green, coming in from Clemson uh, at corner. You have, uh, at the other corner spot, another transfer, Tavion, Tavon, Ky uh, Tavon Kyle coming in from Iowa State. And the others are all juniors, seniors, or graduates on this defense. So very talented and experienced defense. Can they put it together this year to have a good record for Virginia? Well, let's just check it out and see if I think so. Start out the year, you play Tennessee and Nashville. I'm not even going to waste time. I don't think that's going to happen. I think you're going to lose the game to Tennessee before playing a game at home against a team that was very hot last year in James Madison. New to the Power Five last year, James Madison had a very surprising uh, good record. And <sighs> this game could be a toss-up. There's games like this every year to where teams lose to uh, teams like this, and I think you're going to be one of them. James Madison, they're going to be wanting to get a win like this against a Power 5 opponent to prove that they are a good team. And I think with the young offensive line, I think it most certainly could happen, especially with a new starting quarterback, new offensive line, or young offensive line. I think it definitely could happen. So you start off 0-2 before going on the road to Maryland and getting another loss. I think you lose to Maryland. Maryland's going to be a very good offense this year with Talia Tagovailoa and that team under um, their head coach. I'm blanking on his name right now. But anyways, you're 0-3 before playing NC State. And I think you lose there too. I think Brennan Armstrong gets a little revenge game on you. Uh, with the Wolfpack before you go on the road again to play Boston College. 
I do think you get your first win here against the Eagles. I think after four straight losses, you're going to be able to uh, get the offense rolling with Tony Elliott and get a win here against Boston College. They're going to be similarly terrible to you. Then you play William and Mary, and I think you get a win there before getting near bye week. You're two, you're two and four. Then you have a back-to-back road stretch after the bye week against North Carolina and Miami, two of the top tier uh, teams in the ACC. I think you lose them both before playing Georgia Tech at home, and I think you lose to Georgia Tech and that physical team with Brent Key. Then you go on the road to Louisville. I think you lose that game with Jeff Brom leading the way for the Cardinals. Then you play Duke. I think you lose that one before you play Virginia Tech. At this point, you're 2-9 and nine in your rivalry game. You haven't played it since 2021. And I think that you win the game. While Virginia Tech may have a uh, maybe a defense-oriented team, I think that carries by um, Kobe Pace and that quarterback – who, uh, whichever quarterback you're starting, will have a lot of experience going through the season, and I think you get a win in Charlottesville over the Hokies to finish season three and nine. Very bad season for Virginia, but the thing is, Tony Elliott's got to get his guys in there. Virginia was not a good team when he entered there. The last time that they were good was 2019. Um, so we'll just have to see how it pans out. Anyways. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and go dogs.